I know what you was thinking before you tuned in today, but don't worry, I got you. What is good, everybody? My name is Weave, and if you are new to the channel, thank you for tuning in today. Here, we explore your personal growth and development, your professional careers, and we find ways to strengthen your relationships that you're in. So come be a part of the team as we continue to grow the squad. Be a part of it. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom. Today, we're going to discuss what values do you need to share in your relationships? So without any further ado, let's get into it right now. So you probably thinking like, what do you mean values in a relationship? Like how exactly do you quantify those values? And is it something that you can measure? More so, why exactly is this important? Let's start with the number one thing, which I think you know where I'm going with this, trust. Now, all of us have had a past, different partners, different relationships, different disagreements, and different points of view. Now, trust might seem straightforward to you, but there are levels to trust, in my opinion. Just because you've had someone in your past that was unfaithful to you, lied to you, done you wrong, that's no reason for you to carry it over into your new relationship. And if you're someone who does, then do me a favor, don't get into an exclusive relationship. And the part about trust that sometimes takes a back seat is your self-worth. Because people who are jealous are usually uncomfortable in their own skin. It's their problem. They feel less than because they a lot of times have low self-esteem. The ways we combat that is through your self-improvement. And I can't preach to you enough that if you are someone who is an insecure individual and you just feel like you can't trust someone in a relationship, then stay single and ready to mingle. The second value is your lifestyles. Your lifestyles don't have to complement each other, but more often than not, your principles and your values definitely do. They need to be aligned in some way. Are you a partier? Are you huge on family? Are you tight with friends and hang out with them often? Are you into health and fitness? Are you a vegetarian? Look, you and your partner don't have to be carbon copies of one another, but how far are you willing to compromise the things you grew up on? Like, where are you going to live? How are you gonna spend your weekends? When can you align in your lifestyles, your relationship, your connection can become something so much stronger. More importantly, I have a better understanding of the compromises if I'm getting into that relationship or lack thereof that I'll need to make throughout the course of our journey together. Third is how you deal with conflict. How do you deal when both of you have conflicting views? How do you both deal with the issues that are gonna arise in your relationship? Because reality is you're not gonna agree on everything and you shouldn't. But when you're working through your problems, through your responsibilities, let alone when you have like kids or you're raising them together or you're spending money on bills together, how do you come to an agreement on the proper steps to take and things to do in a specific situation? Now, this is where I personally draw a tight rope. Like it's a tight line for me because I wasn't always a good listener. I used to just not want to incorporate anyone's opinions into my decisions because I was independent minded. But if you are in this together, if this is a partnership, how can you come to an agreement? Because it's not about winning an argument or being right. It's about coming to a place of peace and meeting each other on a level that's above the pettiness. And if you're with someone who can't do that, you better run like Usain Bolt for the finish line because it only gets worse from here. Fourth is what is your ultimate plan for the future? Because things change, obviously, when you meet somebody that you love. But I caution you not to put yourself in a predicament where you compromise your goals for someone. Remember, your job in a relationship is for you to make yourself happy first. That's what's most important. They shouldn't be making you happy. You should be making yourself happy. You should have self-love enough to make yourself happy. Someone shouldn't come in and make you happy. To me, that's backwards. You need to be happy with who you are, comfortable in your own skin, and where you're going. And if you and your partner are willing to push each other forward and support each other in career endeavors, then it's easier for you both to find a future together. Like if both of you want kids or not, things can change. Just make sure that it's something you have always wanted that you don't compromise just because you guys get along great or they're so good looking or you guys have so much in common that you put your future plans 
on the back burner? Where can they fit in? Where do you fit in? And if they don't fit in, then more than likely, you'll need to adjust your approach and probably find someone who will join you on your life's journey, on your conquest by your side to help push you forward. And the most important thing of all these things with the four values that I've gone over in your relationship is to stay true to who you are. That at no point do you back down from a dream you've always wanted to live out or a family that you've always wanted to build or a business you've always wanted to start or a somewhere that you always wanted to travel because your spouse or your partner doesn't agree. They can come with you or they can get left behind. Those are the only two choices. And your number one choice should always be to move forward with your life. Because listen, there are six billion people on this planet. So you have a ton of options. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in today. If no one has told you this, you know what I'm going to tell you. I appreciate you. So until I see you guys next time, stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, before I head out, peace. Thank you.